Bricks to the metal hand of God. Metal, metal, metal hand of God. I like to welcome all you freaks to the metal hand of God. With some nerves, with your urge to purge on some mod. Show him the dick print and hit him with the rod. The love doc will tell you how to get the ick abide. Crane, Adam Rock, Kyle Wayne. How do they maintain when they clinically insane? You keep it so mad that we speak in your refrain. Adam story got a point, and if you let him explain, it's the pun of all puns. Get a plan with Papa Wayne. Where I'm tapping the blame and I'm the dynamite what's up guys this is wayne from the metal hand of god podcast and sitting right next to me is long i'm uh, not long dongs adam santino but um <laughs> you are adam santino though yeah i'm i'm uh um what do you say like short and round adam santino and i don't mean are like, you calling me short round <laughs> that would be great but you, know. you racist bastard but i'm i'm cool with that i like short <laughs> round he's a badass yeah he's like the best character but anyway we're we're here to introduce um a special episode because yes, yes. Well, you know uh we've both got a lot going on i'm working on a house you you're uh doing magic all kind of shit yeah and uh so we're gonna have like a rough couple of weeks so we're recording a special episode well we're not we i wasn't there for this interview but yeah. we got a super special interview a big big an exclusive big, yes. It's unbelievable. Um, this was recorded Saturday night after some uh, a special event in Washington D.C. Yeah, you might have seen it on TV. Yeah. I'm not really sure. We're probably going to talk about it in the next episode. Uh, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. But in the meantime, you know, I guess uh, there's not much left to say other than check out this incredible guest and you know we are share it. super grateful that this gentleman. Really Everyone needs to hear this, this interview because it's so amazing, so great. So I'm kind of jealous that I wasn't there for this. Yeah, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing, you know. He they contacted us and sent it in. I was like, "Wow, this is really cool." It's it's really short because he's a busy guy, but you'll you'll see where. We're but going. basically, what he did was he recorded his thoughts on this uh, event and wanted us to air it for him. So, so without further ado, I guess we should mention the name of the special guest. Uh, it's former President Bill Clinton. I'm. I, I could, you know. It's really. Did hard. you get to party with him Saturday night? I uh, no, no. Oh, you hit the Doctor Joe yeah, thing after. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't. Oh, I was, I, was man. Uh, I wasn't there. You know, he he. Uh, like I said, he recorded it, gave it to me, and he was like, "Look, you need to put this out." I said, "All right." Then he, uh, from what I heard, he went down in a quarter. Mm-hmm. But I, I was too busy, you know. I heard, I heard I had he to do uh, a lot of stuff. So I heard his first stop was barely legal, and by the time he was done, they were completely illegal. And there were no cigars left in the building. So I guess uh, check out this episode and don't forget to uh, share it with your friends. That's right. Uh, let everyone know that President Bill Clinton stopped in. He's a big fan of the MHOG podcast. And, you know, don't for if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Thanks for representing, Bill. And uh, all right, here it goes, Mr. Bill Clinton. And welcome to the MHOG podcast. How are you doing, Wayne? Uh, I'm doing fine. How are you, Mr. President? I'm so excited to be on this podcast. I do have to apologize to you, though, Wayne. Why is that, sir? I had sex with your old lady. She probably has syphilis. Yeah. Congratulations, though. She is a great lay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited to be here. I've been (laughs) listening to all your backlog episodes. Have you? Well, you know, my wife, uh, Hillary, she, she had a bit of a... Bad time the last couple of months. I heard. I heard. She's been a complete cunt, to be honest with you. And all <laughs> I can do is listening to the sweet sounds of the metal hand of God. I am the most metal president, you know. I know. You are a musician, and that's that's incredible. That's true. I once had Metallica play. This was when they were good. Yeah, was, nah, that's, that's the last time they were ago. good during the 90s. Yeah, when you were president. Mm, I actually I have to apologize. I commissioned the S&M album. <sighs> Why? Because I just thought it would be a good idea. I'm sorry. Well, it was it was an all right idea, I guess. But, yeah. But I love the metal hand of God. It's a good time. Everyone should listen. I tell all my friends, you know, 
I was just hanging out with W. With W? We were listening to the Pond Far episode. And let me tell you something. <laughs> we are down for some Pond Far, bro. I, I bet you are there, buddy. I bet you are. But I am I just came off. I just got off the plane. I was at the Million Woman March. Oh, how was that? It was awesome. Did you, did you get in? I grabbed so many <laughs> pussies. It was right. so good. <laughs> we had a good time. You know, uh, actually, no one knows this, but, uh, y- you know, my buddy Don was there. Don was there? He took off the toupee. What? It's much easier to grab pussy when no one recognizes you. No, and I do know. I do know by far. You were probably the only president. I am Slick Willie. Who? Actually, I'm not. You're not Slick Willie? Well, I am, but I'm I'm not the only president. You know, JFK, my hero. Oh, no, no, no. I meant you were the only pre- You were the first president, I meant to say, that has coined the term grabber by the pussy. I'm pretty sure that. Oh, I never really talked about it back then. Back then, we knew to keep our mouths shut because you didn't want Hillary to find out. I mean, she always knew, but you didn't really talk about it. Right, right, right. You know, we had an agreement, you know. I grab him by the pussy. And she becomes president. Well, <laughs> that didn't quite work out. No, nah, it, it did for me. But at least you got your half, right? Yeah. Huh. And you get you to know. keep the money. Did you see my buddy Don's daughter at that inauguration? I, I did, and I noticed that you noticed her as well. Uh, well, I did get caught, I'll be honest with you. You but did. You did. You can't blame a man. No. I tell you what, I wish I was Donnie. <laughs> Why is that? I'm not saying that I would have sex with my daughter, but I would totally have sex with my daughter if uh, she looked like that. I wouldn't have sex with your daughter. There's a reason, Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Chelsea. You're my daughter. Mm, yeah. Well, actually, adoptive. But, you know. I thought you named the dog Chelsea. How dare you talk about a man's child that way? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bill. I was just telling you how beautiful your son is, and you're going to insult my Actually, you didn't. Adoptive you child. Didn't. You were just talking about Don's daughter. You didn't say anything no, about my son. No, before the interview. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. I'm sorry. How yeah, dare you're right. you? You're right. You're right. Have you been drinking? Uh, maybe a little. But I'm just really excited to be here. You know, my favorite's the rum guy. Yeah, he's pretty much everybody's favorite. I you really, know? really love that segment where... He got in. Who was that guy that was interviewing? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? On the last episode, you don't pay attention. I listened. Oh, to you mean you mean the um the little English dude? No, the guy, the the nineteen forties kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Was that nineteen forties guy? No, no, he's an English guy. Who's the who's who? What is the night? I don't. The nineteen forties guy is a real person, right? Yes, he is. He is. But um, what's his name? I don't remember. I want to hire that guy to do all my press releases. Well, I could do that. I can. I can hook you up there, Bill. That's I'll, sweet. I'll, uh, I'll contact him. But no, the guy who's doing uh, uh, where in the world is rum is uh, some English fella that he met. I don't really know. Awesome. But uh, actually, I, you know, I have a I have a segment that I'm going to play before this show. Really? Yeah, we're going to do it for him. Uh, you'll have to play it for me later. I will. I will. I tell you what, though. You have me for 10 more minutes, Wayne. All right. Is there anything you want to ask the one, the only Slick Willie? I, I just want to know, what What do you think of the the entire inauguration, inaugure, or whatever, how you say it? I, for one, was very disappointed that Garth Brooks didn't play. Really, I don't really care about who's president. I mean, it's all downhill after me. That's that is true. That is true. You know, I'm a good old boy from down back in the holler, and I do love me some Garth Brooks. And I was just disappointed. Really, I, I'm not a big fan of Garth Brooks. I think he does some good stuff, but I'm not that big of a fan. Oh man, he tells it like it is. He, everybody who among us cannot relate to being one with the rodeo. Uh, me. Well, I got nothing for you. I don't know what to tell you about that. <laughs> Overall, I was fine with it. I mean, you know, Donnie, he's a character. It's going to be entertaining for the next four years. I mean, what with him firing everybody? <laughs> yeah. A little behind the scenes uh, thing. I'll tell you about M Hog exclusive. Oh, shit. What we got here? Right before the inauguration when, uh, when Obama... My buddy Barry. Yeah, Barry. 
Well, not really, but it's I don't well, really can like we, can him. Can we can we call him Barry now? I I always do. You know, just just saying. I tried to get him to serve me coffee once, and he just said no. He seemed really put out by it. It's not my fault. He was dressed like a waiter. <laughs> But, you know, Barry, he took, you know, him and Michelle, you know, who's very pleasant. I'll tell you, you know, she gets a bad rap. But if you saw how big her smile was on her face, you know, she was really, really pleasant. And they took him into the White House to to show them their new residence. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Right then and there, as soon as those doors closed, Donnie looked Barry in the eyes. And you know what he said? What did he say? You're fired. We all had a good laugh. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Actually, Barry didn't laugh that much. But, you know, he's never had much of a sense of humor. No. Not a bad guy. You think, you know, people, they think Barry's a bad guy. They think, you know, he's made race relations worse in America. But let me tell you something. Well, I think he has, but okay. He's a hell of a guy. He's a good father. You know, he let me fuck his wife a few times. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, this is uncomfortable. Do you have any other questions for Slick Willie? Uh, actually, n- no. Well, then what are we going to do for the next seven minutes? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's let's talk about your wife. Well, all right, but we got to make this quick. What do you want to know about her? Um, do you really not know how to use the Internet? I don't know what you mean <laughs> by that. <laughs> I, I, I watched an interview with you. you. Said that you've only used the internet twice in your entire life. It's kind of hard to believe it, a man at your stature. I, I was. I'll be honest with you, Wayne. I was high. I don't know <laughs> what I was saying. You can't quote me to me. You know. You remember I, that time that I said I don't know what the word is means? I do. I really do. I'm not fucking retarded. I was high. <laughs> You really well, think a man did. could get to my stature, could be president of the United States, the last great president of the United States of America, or so I keep telling people. Do you really think a man could get to that spot and not know what the word is means? I just have to say one thing. Let me correct you on that. Um, What's that? You are fucking retarded because you do put your dick in Hillary. Little inside baseball, Wayne. <laughs> Hillary doesn't even have a vagina. Really? It's just that catcher's mitt feel? She is built like a Ken doll. Nice, but she has an asshole, right? I mean, on some level, all she has is asshole. I mean, she is an asshole. Yeah, I understand. I got yeah. you, Mr. President. You're going to get me in a lot of trouble, Wayne? I, you know, I can't help that. I tell you what, though. You know what? She was a good mother. Mm, really? Yeah. She was a better motherfucker. <laughs> well you know I, I i can believe that right there i, I really yeah. do you know i was I, you know i i i really felt for her when she didn't win the president of the united states i mean no you didn't no i did i, I really felt bad for her because i was president of the united states and it was pretty awesome i got so much pussy um so you do believe that she was going after some pussy uh, a little more inside baseball, Wayne. <laughs> and this kind of goes with the not having a vagina thing. Hillary is not a sexual person. She only cares about one thing. What? White diamonds perfume by Liz. What is her name? Liz Claiborne or Liz Taylor? Liz Taylor. There you go. Liz Taylor does white diamonds, right? Oh, I'll have to research that. I don't remember, but she loves that perfume. That's the only thing she cares about. She didn't even like the kid that much. Really? Yeah. What did she do with the kid? How did y'all have the kid if she doesn't have a vagina? Well, a little more inside baseball. You can have an anal birth, as it turns out. Wow. Wow. No wonder she looks the way she does. I'm just kidding. Are you gullible? <laughs> no, no, no. She had a C-section. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's hard to believe these things that you're saying, Mr. President. Wayne Barris. Yes. Big balls. Yes. Would I lie to you? <laughs> Uh, you lied to the entire country, so I guess lying to me would you be... You're a horrible person. <laughs> I am here to celebrate the metal hand of God. I am the greatest president in your lifetime, sir. No. Um, no. Well, who do you care about more, Barry? Uh, no. W? No. Well, who the fuck else is there? What are you, 12 years old? I don't know. 
Yes. You're 12? Yes. Okay, well then, you must like Barry. No, I hate Barry. God damn it, you are confusing me. I know, I'm doing that on purpose. This interview's over. Well, fuck you then. Okay! Well, thank you for show, showing up and doing this for us. Well, before I leave, I just want to ask, you want to go to the quarter with me? I can't. I can't. I actually have a... Come uh, on, we'll grab some pussy. I have a prior engagement. If I didn't, I'd be there. Have you ever experienced a glory hole? Uh, no. We, though I know a fantastic place in the quarter where we can stick our dick in holes opposite each other and a woman will suck one of us off and jerk the other one off and then switch. It is fantastic. Are you sure it's a woman? I'm gonna have to look into that. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go. All right, Mr. Clinton, thank you for joining me for this uh, really, really interesting and exclusive 20-minute interview. It's pretty awesome that you came out here and did this for us. You are welcome, and I just want everyone to go out there and listen to the M H O G podcast. It is my favorite. I am your number one president, Slick Willie. The greatest president in the history of the United States of America. And I got to tell you, if you're not subscribing to the M Hog, fuck you. That's what I'm talking about. That was President, former President Bill Clinton. I'll take it either way. Right, I bet you do. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, buddy. Bye. Bye. Holy shit. Yeah, see, that was a pretty weird. Did he ever uh, find out if it was guys? No, nah, he didn't tell me nothing. He just, he just. Oh. I think it's probably a little bit of both. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So it was a pretty interesting uh, uh, interview, man. Yeah, I thought you'd have more questions though. No, no. I, I just, it was just one of those things where it's kind of like I wanted to let him talk his shit and let him bury himself. I like that. It was more fun. Than I that. liked him. I, th- you know, I thought he was. He's a big fan of the show, and I'm. I'm fine with them having sex with your old lady as long as it, it helps spread the show. I appreciate that, but no, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. All right, so uh, should we play the Rum Guys segment now, or are you going to put post this in the front? I'll do it right now. Let's do it right All now. All right. All right. So we're going to end with the uh, Where in the World is the Rum Guy, and uh, stick around for a longer episode in uh, about a week. Uh, well, a few days. Yeah, a couple of days. All right, bye. Take it easy, guys. Keep it metal. Hello, I'm Christian Chevis, and this is another installment of Where in the World is the Wrong Guy? Hello, Wrong Guy. Hey, how's it going? I'm well. I'm so excited to hear that you love Puerto Rico. What have you been doing? Well, um, we actually kind of stumbled into a festival called St. Sebastian. Uh, It's kind of like if you took Mardi Gras and the biggest St. Patrick's Day celebration and put it all together. It's it's immense. There's, it's taking place in old San Juan area. There's hundreds of thousands of people. There's big venues of music and state. I mean, it's there's DJs and food and it's just it's a big cultural celebration. It's really really cool. That sounds amazing. What else have you been doing? Well, um, we found the beach. Beautiful beach here. Um, we've met a lot of nice people. Done some eating. Done a lot of drinking. Uh, now we're just waiting on some other people we know to get here, and it's going to be a good time, I think. Well, that is just superb. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And don't forget, keep your ears peeled on the MHOG podcast for more episodes of Where in the World is the Frank Guy? Ta-da!